I'm Zachy here, and today I'm with my good friend, Leslie. And we're doing kid cuisine, but we've got a special twist on them. We're making them all allergen friendly and 100% plant-based. This is Kid Cuisine Remix. Just because you have food allergies doesn't mean you have to miss out on sweet treats. Today we are making some allergy-friendly chocolate chip cookies that are accommodating all of my man Zachy's allergies. Zachy, what are your allergies? Milk, eggs, nuts, shellfish, beans, peas, avocado, sesame, and well, olives. Yeah, all of those things. So we're gonna get a little creative in the kitchen today, but they're gonna taste equally as yummy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna use the stand mixer to make these cookies, so I'm gonna have you pour all the ingredients in. Sound good? Awesome. Sweet, we're gonna start with some plant-based butter. It's two sticks that I've just diced up. Oh, perfect, look at that. Next up are our sugars. Do you wanna put in our brown and our white sugar? Get this one here too. That sounds good. Okay, next in, we are going to do our vanilla extract. One Ooh. teaspoon. Okay, can you measure out one teaspoon of vanilla extract for me? Sure. Ooh, excellent job. We're also gonna use applesauce, and it's gonna act as our egg replacer in this recipe. I love applesauce. Okay, good. It's a natural sweetener, and it's gonna do the job of that egg just perfectly. Let's turn this back on. Now while this is going, let's mix together our dry ingredients. Some baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Cinnamon is always my special secret ingredient. I just think it gives cookies this yummy depth of flavor that they don't normally get. Mm. Just a pinch though. There's the baking soda, which is gonna help make the cookies rise. And the salt. Why do we put salt in? Because salt's gonna bring out all of the flavors. Not, and the chocolate chips, I know you're excited for that part, but those aren't going in just yet. Today we're using wheat flour because that's something that Zaki actually can have, but if you have a sensitivity or allergy to wheat, go to foodallergy.org slash substitutions to find the best substitute for your baking needs. That is looking so good, but you know the one thing that's missing out of these cookies? What? Chocolate chips! Can I just pour the whole thing in there? Pour the whole thing in. Like you've done that before. Oh, you're forgetting some. Gotta get the whole Don't one. wanna miss a single chip. And I don't wanna miss a chip. Oh yeah, stir that so it gets all incorporated in. And while we're doing this, it just reminds me of a fun fact I learned today. Tell me your fun fact. The woman who invented chocolate chip cookies actually sold her recipe to a chocolate factory in exchange for a dollar and a lifetime supply of chocolate. Oh, Very good deal if you ask me. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me too. I like that a lot. Time to bake. Yeah. All right, I've got a dough scoop here. Scoop it right onto our parchment lined cookie sheet and I've already got the oven preheated to 375. Do you wanna give that a try? Yeah. Perfect. I'm trying to make these as big as possible that it can fit in here. Well, you really just wanna make them even with all the rest of them so they cook at the same amount of time. I just want chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> All right, let's get this in the oven at 375 or about nine minutes. Awesome. Cookie. Cookie! Are you ready to try them? Yeah! Okay, which one are you gonna do? Which one are you gonna do? I'm gonna do this one. This one. It's the biggest. Let's do it. Mm. How do you like that cookie? It's amazing. Yeah? Not so bad, right? First cookie I've ever had. Thank you.